Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Dr. Connie Chung. I have a extensive educational background. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in psychology, master's in nutrition, a doctorate in physical therapy, been a clinician for over 25 years, as well as a board certified in Institute of Functional Medicine in functional medicine. And I'm a ERYT certified at the 500 hour with Yoga Alliance. All that being said, I utilize yoga as a specific tool to help you to regulate your nervous system, to really empower you, to really reach in to your own essence and your healing power from within to heal from any kind of symptoms, whether it be physical, mental, and emotional, as well as chronic illnesses, I believe all the answers are within you, that we have a biochemical capacity and the ability to heal our own bodies if we can align from within, inside out. That's what we do here. Welcome, and I can't wait to get to know you better. One of my pet peeves is the transition between downward dog into a warrior one or a warrior two. I see a lot of people that miss the mark and how far the foot comes up between the hands. But for correct alignment, it needs to be exactly between the hands. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll demonstrate it and then kind of test for yourself and then we'll go through some drills for you to strengthen this. It's all about this compressive core, okay? So standing at the top of your mat, inhale your arms up overhead, Exhale, fold forward, palms to the mat. Inhale, lift up and out of your chest, palms flat. Right foot back, left foot back. Shift it forward, lower down, push down to lift. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. Deep in breath and deep out breath. Deep in breath. And deep out breath. Right leg up high. You know what? I'm going to go with the left. Sorry. <laughs> left leg up high. So here's what I mean. So a lot of people, they go and then they kind of let this foot drop. And then they, they just end up here halfway between the foot, the back foot, and the hands. And they come up. And then this becomes their warrior one. And then the alignment is way off. Okay. And a lot of people just stay and then they do all the things from here. And I see so much things. And in a class that goes really fast, there's no way for me to fix it. So I want you to think about being in downward dog again. Left leg up. The left knee needs to come up. Keep the shin up. Tight ball. And then we shift the weight by coming high up on your right back toes, all the way up, all the way up. And then you place the foot down. Then you place the heel down and then you bend into the knee and come up slowly like this. But it's that compressive knee to chest, shift, shift, shift and then pulling the foot down. And then from here, push the floor away, lift the foot and lower. This is a drill now. Hands on either side of either foot. The foot is between your hands. Push the floor away. You see how round it is in between my shoulder blades? I'm going to really pull my navel to the spine, come high up on my back foot, lift the foot, and then I can clear it. Bend, 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 and then I can lower it. But it takes a lot. So I need you to pick up, because nobody, a lot of you have trouble picking this foot up and then taking it back. So that practice, this is the drill that I want you to do, really to practice, push, push, push. And if you can't clear the foot, at least work on pushing the arms, because that strength needs to be there to clear that foot. It's this push that allows you this room here to clear the leg between your hands. So this idea of compression, compressive strength is key. So sitting up nice and tall, draw those knees up to your chest, 
And then maybe keeping your knees directly into your chest. Shins are parallel. Arms maybe down by your sides. And then pull it in and slightly out. Pull it in and out. Let's make it sideways. I'm leaning back. Pull it in and go out. Pull it in and go out. Pull it in. You see how I activated my shoulders to come down? Pull it in and out. Ugh, pull it in and out. Pull it in. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! That's the compressive activation of the core that we need to clear that foot to transition from downward dog into warrior one, warrior two, or even crescent lunge. Hands back, let's just kind of give our shoulders a little break. Deep in breath, deep out breath. Lower your hips. I hope that that was helpful. That's one of my pet peeves. So give that drill a try and really share with me what you think. Thank you for watching. Your time is valuable to me and I appreciate you being here. If you found my videos helpful, I put out weekly videos for you so that you can benefit from it. So I would love it if you subscribed as well as comment, review me, follow me on social at Instagram, YouTube, as well as TikTok at Dr. Connie Chung. I'd love to hear from you. DM me, comment below, and let's connect. I'll see you guys all later.